When it comes to choosing the right mic for your YouTube videos, I think it's very important to understand what kind of mics are out there and which ones are going to fit your situation. So today in this video, I'm going to break down three types of microphones and which one should you buy for your situation. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kai Marcelizzi. Mic number one is the lapel mic. So when a lapel mic is useful is when you have your recording device far away from you. either you record from your phone or from your camera for the best audio on those situations, the lapel mic will be the best option for you. But that also depends how you have things set up so for situations like you have your camera far away from you or you're recording an interview lapel mics will be the best because of the distance between the device and the subject for example when i started my youtube channel i was recording far away from my device so i started with a budget option which is a lavalier by Rode. using the headphone jack adapter you could easily plug it to your phone and set it to record like this you would record it from your phone using your iphone as a recorder and not an external recorder if you don't happen to have one a much higher end option is the Rode Wireless Go. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Rode. Either Wireless Go 1 or Go 2 would work. It just depends on what situation you have. Go 1, I believe you're only recording one person and 2, you're recording two people because it gives you two channels. These guys are great because you can record in unit. For example, I don't need to have a lavalier attached to this to record. I can record just straight from this device right close to my chest. And they also have an internal recorder. So let's say, for example, I have this you know just attached to this lavalier and the lavalier for some reason happens to stop working this will still give me an audio backup if i have it of course close to the chest if you have a jacket or close by or something like that this can get me handy for me many times i recorded and shot like multiple interviews with like celebrities and you know youtubers and stuff like that so this thing really really helped me and came out super handy great thing about these microphones too when you turn on the receiver unit it gives you an indication of how much battery each of your units have so these guys will cost you a little bit much higher i'll put the link in the description below as well but this is another option for a lapel mic the second type of microphone it's a shotgun mic and the reason they are called shotgun is because they're spraying pattern to capture sound it's like a shotgun but for successful clean audio so you don't get as much as background noise you only have about maybe 8 to 12 inches of clean audio so for example in a situation like this what i'm recording right now for me to use this i would have to have it just slightly out of my shot so you you guys don't see it and pointing to my chest to capture the best audio and these are great for vlogging when people vlog usually they have their camera just almost about you know arm's length and the microphone facing you this is going to be one of the situations that you will get the best audio out of a shotgun mic and these are great when you want to record interviews and you don't want any microphone on the shot like no lapels just a shotgun microphone with clean audio this one i think it started about 1999 or 200 dollars this is the rode video mic plus when i bought this microphone Microphone, I was afraid of recording and not having audio and the cool thing about this microphone is that once you hit record and it's hooked up to your camera it starts you know self powers to me <laughs> that was great so your question is like Kai, how did you record far away from your camera still using a road microphone well I use one of these where I hooked it to my camera I don't remember even how long this is because I haven't used this in a long 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 time there are other high-end options for these guys as well uh, by Sennheiser and other brands that you can actually connect this via XLR connection so it's not a audio jack connection which of course is a much cleaner much professional audio third type of microphone yes you guessed it our condenser or dynamic microphone the difference are and I'm gonna put them both in the same category just because this is not a video that I'm gonna break down these type of microphones but usually condensers and dynamic microphones they either record from the side or from the top when would you want to have this are mostly for podcasts you know people are starting gaming channels today they also want the really clean rich audio because you know they're engaging with the audience and they want a really clean audio they want to you know look a little bit more professional so these guys look really great for a situation like that of course for podcasts you need the cleanest audio because not only people record video podcasts but they also extract the audio from those conversations and they put it on distribution platforms so those platforms are really specific when it comes to like your audio settings and your voice and if you want your listener to enjoy audio is one of the things that keeps people watching even if you have a bad video quality audio will keep your viewers engaged for a budget option i would recommend something like this as you guys can hear it still gives me pretty clean audio i don't do much processing on this one this is offered by full-time filmmaker the kit i think it runs about 69 bucks to almost 100 bucks i'm gonna link it in the, in the description below as well and what i love about this mic it still gives me that deep rich podcast style voice if you have a bigger budget the sure sm7bs those are the best options
options for podcasts right now. If you guys go across multiple podcasting channels, 9 out of 10 of the people that you watch podcasts, they're using these mics. You know, they capture the cleanest audio. Of course, there's more things that you need with it. But as of right now, those are being considered like the industry standard. So that is it, guys. Three types of microphones. So make the decision which one fits your need. If you thought this video was valuable, like and subscribe. And I think you're going to watch this video. See you next one.